to get me. What you doing? What did you see? What you see? What you see? Yes, what you see? He's so cute though. He's so poor baby. So I wanted to talk to you about how my exercising has evolved. So I remember I would, it's so funny because when I first started out, the last time I lost 100 pounds, oh, you want to hit the camera? <laughs> the last time I lost 100 pounds, I was, like I said, exercising like three hours a day and I was running. I would run as long as I can. My hips were killing me. I mean, I was just like crazy doing stuff, okay? But it was like, it was such an accomplishment when I was done. It was like, I was so proud of myself for doing it. And um, I know a lot of people hate running, but there was just something about running that got me, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just, it was kind of like meditating almost. I got into this mind space and then I just, was at peace sometimes. And then again, very proud of myself because I was running and doing something, you know, that was good for my health and I actually could do it. Um, it was just, it was just awesome. I don't know how else to explain it. So I lost that or lost the weight and then I gained it back obviously. And it's been like four years, I think maybe three, I don't know. So the summer, I decided I needed to start walking. So I'm gonna just, just, I thought, you know what? I can walk, you know, I I can walk, even if it's just for a half a mile, a quarter of a mile, I can walk. Especially with it with being nice outside and at work, they have a trail, tra not a trail, but a track behind my work. So on my lunch break, I get it now, I just go out there and walk. And that was just, it helped build my confidence and help me get better and think, well, I can actually do this again. So I kept on doing that. And then at the beginning of the year, I decided, man, I needed to eat healthier, like all together. I wanted to, um, you know, take on the plant-based diet and veganism. And I really wanted to have like compassion. And I mean, I have compassion, but I wanted more compassion for people and the animals. And I just wanted, I just wanted to be better. I wanted to be better than I was before. And I, through the process, was learning self-love and trying to decide what it is that I needed to do to make myself, like, become the person I wanted to be. And it just took little steps and little things. And I know this is crazy because it's not, not necessarily all have to do with exercise, but I knew that's where it started. I knew it started with feeling like I'm doing something to help myself. You know what I mean? Hi, buddy. So, he's back. So, <laughs> so you know, sit down, sit, sit. I really am pushing hard. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> yeah, there you go, there you go. You can lay on me. Oh. Okay, well, let's, let's let him get comfortable. Anyway, I wanted to feel accomplished and I wanted to have like some inspiration to keep on going. So I decided, you know, I'd get with friends and walk. You come here, you're a good boy. Yes, you are. Come here, give me kisses. Yeah. So, okay, I am so distracted with this dog. He's just my baby. So anyway, so I just wanted to be in that mind space again. Not, and I obviously can't run to be in that mind space, but I needed to be in a mind space where I had motivation, friends who wanted to kind of get healthier. I needed um, to surround myself with people who wanted just that kind of same thing I wanted at that time. So I got with my friends, we started going to the Y um, and they had some killer ass workouts you know, planned. We have planned workouts, not necessarily, we don't always plan it before we go, but we had a book that we wrote some exercise routines in and we would go. 
And it was actually, I mean, it was awesome. And I miss it right now tremendously. But so when the Y closed, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to gain all my weight back because all I can do is eat. <laughs> and it's cold outside, so I'm sorry. I'm not going to go outside in the cold. I'm just not, just not my thing. So I'm just being realistic, you know. Uh, so we, so I've been eating regular food and um, actually not overeating, not eating anything off plan. It's been pretty amazing, actually. I'm still losing weight. And there was a couple times I um, got really low or, and, and my body fluctuates sometimes, but I was just like, wow, I, and I'm really close to that 50 pound mark to lose weight. So I'm super excited about that. And I'll make a video once I hit it. It's just, it's just a lot going on right now. And I think, you know, exercise, even though I think it's good for you mentally, I think you should do it. I mean, mental health is like what is very important, especially right now. So if you can find a way to get something done in your house, do it. I mean, I don't care what it is. Jump in place for 10 minutes. I don't know. Do whatever you have to do. But the mental health of it, I feel like, yes, it is a necessity. As far as exercising to lose weight, I do not feel like that is a necessity. I think there will come a time where it will be. Like there'll be a time where I can only lose so much weight and I feel like, you know, I need some things that jiggle, not to jiggle anymore. I need them to be a little tighter. So I need to do some stuff to do that. Unfortunately, well, it's not even unfortunately, it's, but realistically, I am not that kind of person. I'm not going to wait till I got down to my, close to my goal weight to start exercising. The reason why is because when I did it before and as I exercised, I felt like I didn't have that much loose skin because I was exercising and trying to build muscle as I was losing weight. So there are definitely benefits and great things about, you know, exercising. So I'm not saying don't exercise. What I'm saying is you definitely, if you eat healthy and have a great diet, you can still lose weight. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. If you are new to my channel, subscribe. And yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye.